Hi, I'm Joe from Frankenstein, and today I'm gonna be doing a trike conversion kit on this 2013 Rogue Glide. All of our Frankenstein rear ends come with rear end, swing arm, tires and wheels, fenders and bracket, and hardware. Remove the saddle bag guard and mufflers. And now I'm getting ready to move, take out this bolt. This bolt and this bolt to remove this guard. All right, next step is take a breakover bar and bust the shock bolts loose. Take the caliper off. I like to leave the caliper hooked up until I'm ready to install the brake light onto the new caliper on the rear end. I like to stick the axle back in with the spacers on the sides that it come off of. I like to take and 
remove the shocks and then use longer bolt that's in for the installation of the kit. So that way, because there's air out, but uh, oil in these shocks and you don't want it to run all out of it, you know? So you want to keep shocks hanging. I like to use the 11 16 socket. If you look here, you can see that this spacer is in the bearing. And you want something that fits in that spacer on the spacer, not on the bearing, and just lightly tap it out. And you want to install that in your new swing arm. Remove the spacers from the swing arm. Now you want to put them back in. until it stops. It'll just barely be sticking out the swing arm. Where that sets against the transmission. We're gonna hook the brake line up to the caliper, the new caliper, and we get the brake split. You supplied banjo bolt and crush washers. And I like to look in the reservoir to make sure there's plenty of fluid before I start bleeding. Plenty of fluid. You want to bleed the top one away from the air to where it's going in the top one. Check the reservoir fluid in the reservoir again. All right, I'm gonna uh, mount the fenders on the brackets and mount the fenders to the trike.
want to take the weight off the shocks so you can take those loose again. Refer to the owner's manual for torque specs. the exhaust bracket using the two bolts I told you to keep earlier.
I like to look here, like right there, just make sure there's about the same amount of space on both sides. In that spot, the distance from here to there, where it looks the same on this side as that side, then they should be setting pretty close to being the same. across like line up with the two back fenders where you're seeing across the fenders and make sure that the mufflers look in line make sure that the s bins are kind of straight parallel you this way where it looks nice 